Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is H Cubed by Henri Beaumont. Uh, kind of via Kev G, Colin Klaus, Refractor, all of that stuff. All will become clear. Have a look at this. Before we do this, consider these things. Like and subscribe. Do that. That's not just tick the bell icon so you get notifications. Um, do also check out onlinemagic.co. Very, very important. One of the finest, the finest membership magic training site on the internet with over 800 videos, 900 videos, live sessions, loads of different courses, all for your 9.99. You can cancel any time. It is a ridiculous bargain. And uh, go and have a look at that. Read what other people are saying on Trustpilot and uh, trust that because it's a pilot. Um, this, anything else? Podcast. Do that. Steve Fulton's Magic Show. I'm editing one at the moment. It's going up very soon. And more to come. It's kind of been the end of the season, really, because I had to have a big gap. But more to come of that. And Instagram at Steve Faulkner. Now, this is another video that is a review, uh, a standalone review. But Blackpool is coming up. People are wanting to know what to look out for. It is so overwhelming. So I'm going to try the things, some new, some not new, that I think you should check out. Uh, and this is one of them. I have had this. I did a little Instagram story the other day. I'd say this about so many things, sitting on my shelf for ages. It seemed like a lot of work. And I was like, when am I going to get a chance to look at that? And then I kind of misunderstood what it was a little bit. And Kev, I got back in touch with Kev and said, look, I got it ages ago. I've kind of forgotten what it is, really. And he made me a lovely video and said, look, you don't have to watch all the, you know, there are hours of, of you know, stuff on Refractor once you, that you get. And if you buy this, you have to be a member of Refractor. You get the, it's just on the Refractor website, which I'll talk about in a sec. We don't watch all that because it goes out for hours. So here's the basics, and that's all you need to know for review. And of course, I did my usual thing, as I always do, of going wrong. Look at it for half an hour, got into it and spent a good four hours yesterday. Well, about six at the, by the end of the day. Got up this morning, went back to it, couldn't stop thinking about it. It is a belter, and it's very deceptive, this. First of all, what it isn't. What I thought this was was some kind of shoehorning mentalism into Rubik's Cube magic in that way that we've seen before. It doesn't really make much sense. It doesn't have to make sense, but didn't really speak to me. I just thought, look, why are you muddying the waters? You've got this new Rubik's Cube, lovely visual magic, and you've got mentalism. I don't really get it. And then I got into it and really connected with it. So there is a lot going on here, and this is going to be no doubt a kind of garbled review. I'm doing this just from because it's fresh in my head, so I don't want to kind of script this. Never do, let's be honest. But I'll try and remember all of the things, but there will be so much more. And there is more because on the videos, there's loads of stuff I didn't watch because I watched hours and hours, and then it was like, oh, and you can do this and this. And I, I didn't really want to go down that place because that was getting more into the mentalism, mentalism side of it. So this is kind of a cross between a book test and Rubik's Cube magic, but it, it incorporates both and creates something that is more than the sum of its parts for me. So this was released a while ago and Kev G with Henri adapted it, added a, something to the algorithm that was originally used. I won't go into all that, but it does, I think, improve it a little bit, especially if you're showing people that know about Rubik's Cube magic. Uh, it kind of makes it look like you're not doing what they think you might be doing. And it was presented in English because it hasn't been before, uh, on red being French. So two things you can do. You can either say to someone, as you will with a book test, open that anywhere and you will gather the information from by apparently knowing nothing. This is presented, which I believed it was for a while, <laughs> as uh, like the, the great solutions of Rubik's Cube Legends. So it gives you all these names, you open it up and it tells you <clears throat> a solution in a Rubik's Cube algorithm that many of you will know. Very simple to understand, right, left, up, down, uh, back, front. The orientation of the cube when it started and the mix it was in before they solved it. So it looks really legit. It looks exactly like one of these kind of books would do, but there's more to this. Basically, one of the things is based on Kev's cube cards, and I think even if you do that, it's great. And I think it le legitimizes the thing maybe more than cube cards does. I love cube cards. Someone takes a card, you match it in its simple form, and it does a lot more than that. You, there's pictures of cubes on the cards, but I don't want to carry another deck of cards. 
for me, this gives it a bit of context. And the cards did have good context. I'm not putting them down. But for me, you open it up, makes sense, and you're gonna ma you can match with your cube the pattern on there, and they can look through, and they're all different. That's great, but there's other things you can do. You'll say, right, who are you looking at? They give the name of the person they're looking at. With that information, you can know the orientation of the cube before they solved it. So the orientation is like what colors, if you understand you, what colors were top left and bottom when they started solving it. You can tell them how many moves it took to solve. You can tell them the exact time it took to solve it. You can list verbally or written down the list here, which is the moves that they took to solve it. And as I say, match it and much, much more. You can do that by handing them the book. You can also do a thing where it's like a book test, say stop anytime and straight away you gather the information. Again, there's so much more than that. The, the, this bookmark is incredible. The whole thing's cribbed and invisibly cribbed, just so nicely cribbed. Some of those cribs you're gonna need if you wanna just hand it out, if you want to gather certain information. Henri goes deep into this. He goes into using progressive anagrams, the psychology, linking emotions to it, going into a real mentalism thing. Of, and you can, you can say like, right, who are you looking at, right? Look, do you want, uh, left top or bottom square on the orientation they'll go oh, i'll go for top you say think of an emotion that is that color you tell them the emotion you tell them the color uh, again loads of ways of presenting this for me with my dismissive kind of oh what do you want to mix mentalism with it the whole thing makes complete sense because your presentations can go back to a cube you've got a cube there which you can incorporate in all different bits of this and you don't have to be able to solve a cube yes it helps i would never do cube magic i'm way too insecure and clumsy to not be able to get it back to where i want to get it back to but there are no difficult algorithms to learn if even if you can or cannot solve a cube it's very very simple honor has made this for people who aren't like extreme cube fanatics so don't worry about that you can do a lot without a cube you can do stuff with a cube and i think it's one of those things, a bit like I said, you know, with Evoke, where people say, oh, it's a whole routine. You know, you can do an hour with this, and you go, yeah, you can, but please don't. Um, but this, you can do an extended uh, amount of things, not for an hour, but you can have a good five minutes out of this or more where it would be intriguing and interesting to a lay person. And lay people, again and again, you know, people say, I don't like cube magic, again and again. Whenever I get Rubik's Cube out, there is an interest in the cube. Everybody has an interest. They have an interest in the statistics around it, and they have an interest in solving it and how hard it is to solve, and some people can kind of solve it, or they did one side, all this stuff. And I've never, ever got anybody going, this is weird. Why would you do magic with a Rubik's Cube? It's brilliant. And I just want to, again, I spoke on another review about Blackpool coming up. Now, do check this out at Blackpool and do check out the refractor stand as well. I'm pretty sure they're going to be there. I think what they're doing is phenomenal. And like many, many of us who are kind of creating independent uh, platforms and products and things like that, it's very, very hard to create the awareness. You know, we've, we haven't got the budgets that the big companies have. And again, I love that they have because I love the stuff that's coming out. And it's great because I get free stuff and review it. But, you know, go and see the people that haven't got the, the time to put the massive stands out as well as those. And, you know, don't think that their stuff isn't as good. This is really special. And it's something that has excited me a, a lot. And, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying learning. It's not, it's not super easy. You know, when you start listing out the algorithm, that's going to take a bit of practice. But I have appalling short-term memory. I really struggle with mentalism stuff. And I found this very possible to the point that after that few hours... Um, Helen, my girlfriend, I sat with her and did the lot. Yes, I had to kind of think about it, but you're, you're selling the idea of a memory thing, or I was. So that's totally fine too. Really lovely. Check it out. That is H cubed, uh, H with a little free, uh, by Henri Beaumont. And that's been put out, you know, with Kev G and through Refractor again. So, uh, and check out Refractor. Links below. Thanks for sending it to me. Have a great one at Blackpool. And anything else you want to know, comment. Cheers. OnlineMagic.co, at Steve Faulkner, Instagram.